click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome to Ikeda. Today we will see by using network equilibrium equations how to get current and voltages. So in numericals, we will use this network equilibrium equation and get current or voltage which we used to do by using KVL and KCL. So first let us see today the theory part. So here you can see under the heading network equilibrium equation there are two parts. One is KVL equation another one is KCL equation. So we will just take these formulas, we will just prove first one and rest we will assume as it is and we are going to use this formula for solving numericals. As I told you in introduction, this will be used to get current and voltage. You can see a very simple circuit or a branch where impedance is Zk and voltage is Vsk, it's a source voltage and Vk and Ik are branch current and branch voltages and for this structure, we have to prove that B Z B B transpose into I L is equal to B into V S. Now you will wonder what these terminologies are. But this B, as you know, it is nothing but tie set matrix. We have seen this in theory part of tie set matrix. Z B is branch impedance matrix. So whatever is the impedance in branch, which will come to know how to get it while solving numericals. B T is B transpose. So transpose of this matrix is here. IL means link current. There are links as well as tweaks. We have seen that in tie set. So it is link current. Again, this B is same as tie set matrix and Vs is source voltage. So let's first write the KVL equation for this and try to prove this. So if I apply KVL, you will come to know that Vk then minus Zk into Ik and plus Vsk will be equal to 0. Now what we will do, we will write all this in matrix form. So this will become VB, this will become ZB, this will become IB, capital IB, the matrix of branch current and this will become VS. Now we should know what is this VB. VB is nothing but the branch voltage and ZB is the matrix for branch impedance which obviously how to get we'll see in numericals. Now we should know one identity which we have learned in tie set matrix topic and that identity is B into VB. These are all matrix of course. So matrix B multiplied by VB matrix is equal to 0. And now what we know is VB is this. So we will substitute it. So B into we'll open the brackets. Now we have one more relation for this IB as this IB can be represented in terms of B transpose and I link. This is a property which we have seen in one of the topics. So if I substitute this value here in this equation, what I will get is so here you can see this B Z B and B transpose is nothing but can be called as this term can be called as Z the impedance into I L is equal to B into V S as we know that Z into I is V. So left hand side is some voltage, right hand side also is a matrix B multiplied by V S that is source voltage. So it is voltage equal to voltage and that proves our identity. Now this was a simple case. Now here you can see this is case 2 that is for voltage source in series with an impedance and a current source in parallel that is I S K current source in parallel. By using almost same steps, we can prove that the last step is this. 
this is the extra or additional term so in a numericals if this current source is not present we will not use this term because is will be zero so we have to just remember this formula this is same bzb b transpose is called as z into il is equal to b into vs you can see this is just the extra term so that is all about kvl now for kcl also we will directly use formula so for kcl you can see this is step a or part a and this is part b and for both these parts these are the reflecting formulas this one and here this one here can you can say equal to this equation here you can see there is a current source in parallel here also there is a current source in parallel whenever there is kcl equation we are using q now what is q q is cut set matrix in previous kvl case we use tie set matrix that was capital b and here see here there is one more voltage source here there is no voltage source in series so here our formula is simpler here little bit complicated so we have to just remember this this formula for solving the numericals so these are all the topics or formulas which are required for solving the numericals either by using kvl or kcl depending on requirements of numericals so let's get ready to see the first numerical but that will be in another video so thank you very much guys for watching this video stay tuned to ikeda and please subscribe to ikeda thank you